And so I'm gonna go ahead and blend it out for you guys. Welcome back to my channel guys. Today I'm going to be doing a review of some of Nabla's Cosmetics makeup products. If you're new here, welcome. I'm Missy. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now so you never miss a video from me. And let's just jump right into this makeup review. So let me give you a little info on Nabla Cosmetics. So Nabla Cosmetics is an Italian company. It's described as a honest cosmetics company for the conscious beauty obsessive. They're known for their innovative formulas in their makeup and beauty products. So I am excited to check them out. I decided to do a makeup review on this brand because I have a lot of products from this brand. Most of the products that I'm going to be showing you today is available at ultabeauty.com or nablacosmetics.com. I have a foundation, concealer, four eyeshadow palettes, I have a brow pencil, lip liner, lipstick, four skin glazing, and a bronzer of course. I also have a couple brushes from this brand. So let's start off with the foundation. So this is a close-up futuristic foundation and I picked it up in D30. So the foundation comes in 30 shades. You get one ounce of product for $35. It's a weightless, soft focus, luminous matte finish foundation. So it's supposed to blur imperfections and fine lines and pigmentation. And so it is one of these foundation that's recommended for mature skin. I'll include the description of these products in my description section. So if you want to know a little bit more, just hop over there or you can go to ultabeauty.com or nablacosmetics.com. Let's move on to swatching and applying these products. So this is the foundation out of the box. It looks pretty small if you compare it to the average foundation, which looks a little bit more like this. Keep in mind that they have the exact same amount of product. It's all about the packaging. And so open it up. And so that's what it looks like. And I'm wondering right away how I would get all the product out of this bottle. That's how it looks on the back of my hand. Of course, that's not the best place to do your swatches. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a swatch on my face. Okay, and so that's what that looks like. And so D30 is for dark complexion with warm golden or olive undertone. What do you guys think? So I like to give you guys something to compare my swatches to. So right now, this is one of my favorite foundation. And so this is the Urban Decay Stay Naked Foundation. And this one's a really good match for my complexion. Okay, and so that's how it looks. And I'm gonna go ahead and do a swatch right next to my Nabla in D30. Okay, and so that is my Urban Decay. Thoughts? So I'll do another swatch of another foundation that I'm liking a lot as well. And so this is the Dior Skin Glow Foundation. So I'll get a bit and I'll stick it right here. Okay, there you go. We'll blend all of these out. Okay, so what do you guys think? I'm gonna go ahead and put some primer on my face. This is a matte finish foundation, so you wanna go ahead and use a hydrating primer unless your skin is like super duper oily. Here's the foundation right here. I'm gonna go ahead and apply it to my face. Okay, and so I'm gonna go ahead and blend it out for you guys. Okay. So this is a medium buildable coverage foundation, guys. And so this is how we look with just one layer down, okay? And I'm happy with just this much foundation on my face, but I'm gonna do a little bit more for you guys uh, so you can see how you can build it up, okay? So I have some left over on my hand and I'm just gonna go ahead and use it up, okay? So I'm gonna put it in the areas where I think I need a little bit more. Okay, and we're gonna blend it out once more. It did say that it covers blemishes and imperfections and you guys can see a little spot right here. I normally don't put foundation in this area here, but I'm gonna go ahead and just put a little bit just to see if it actually covers it, okay? Okay, and so there you go. 
All right, let's check out the brow pencil. I picked up the brow pencil in the shade Uranus, and so this is for dark brown or black hair. This brow pencil is special because it's silicone free and it was designed to minimize allergy risk. It's also supposed to be long lasting, so let's check it out. I'm just gonna fill my brows in. Okay, and so that's how that looks so far. I do feel like it's more sort of um, warm brown. I typically like more of a cool brown for my brows. And you're supposed to be able to do a little hair-like stroke, so let's try that. Okay. What do you guys think? I'm gonna go ahead and do the other brow off camera and then I'll come right back to do the eyes. So I have four palettes like I mentioned. This glitter palette I use all the time. This is the Miami Lights palette. I have the Platinum Cutie palette. That's what it looks like inside. I also have the Analog Cutie palette and that's what it looks like inside. Because it's fall and I'm getting a more of a pumpkin spice vibe from this palette, I'm gonna go with the Analog palette today. I'm gonna start off with this shade right here. It's called Contact Sheet and I'm gonna use that as my transition shade. Okay. And that's how that looks on my complexion. Okay, a little bit more. Okay, I'll go ahead and do the other eye off camera. And so I'm gonna use a bit of this shade right here to deepen up my crease, and that's called Camera Roll. So I'm gonna put a bit of this shade right here. It's called Dark Room all over my lid. Okay, and so it's really smoky. So in the pan, it looks like it would be a shimmer, but it's really super creamy, and I don't, that's not a shimmer at all. So I think it's actually just a different formula. This is a swatch. So I'm gonna pick a bit up with the same brush, and I'm just gonna put it all over my lid. A little bit under the eye. I think I need a little bit more. I really need this to be super like pigmented. I want it to make my eyes really pop. And it looks pretty in person, but it's not really appearing as pigmented as I would like on camera. Okay, so there you go. I'm going to go ahead and do the other eye off camera. I'm going to go ahead and blend out the outer edges once more with this shade here. It's called Camera Roll. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do some eyeliner my lashes and I'll be right back to do the concealer. So I picked up the concealer in Warm Honey. This is from medium to dark complexion with warm or yellow undertone. So it has that typical doe foot applicator. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply concealer the way I normally do. I'm gonna put a dot there, here, here. So I'm gonna go ahead and blend it out with my concealer brush. This is a full coverage concealer, by the way. That's how that looks so far. I'm gonna go ahead and switch to a Dampen Beauty blender to see if this blends out uh, any faster or easier. I think you have to work in sections with this one. Put it down and then blend it out. Don't let it sit on your face, otherwise you're gonna have issues blending this one out. This is a tough one to blend. So I'm gonna use a combination of the Dampen Beauty Blender and a buffing brush to see if that blends out any easier. It seems to be blending out pretty well with this particular brush. So keep that in mind. Blend out the nose. That's how I look now. Almost completely blended out. I'm gonna go ahead and do some more blending off camera do some setting powder and I'll be right back to check out the bronzer. So here's the bronzer in the shade profile. 
And as I mentioned in my bronzing video, I do not like the fact that there is a bronzer described as a dark brown bronzer with a name as Profile. Let's do a swatch. And that's how it shows up on my complexion. That's the eyeshadow. Okay, well, let's try it out. A bit more. What do you guys think? I think I need to build it up some more. You guys know I know my bronzers because I'm a bronzer addict. You know? So I would describe this as a subtle wash of color, if that makes sense. So here's a side with a bronzer. And here's a side without. I'm going to really pile it on. Now I can see a little something. Should I do a little bit more for like a maximum sun kiss glow if there's such a thing? Yeah, I'm going to do it. I don't think we're in any danger of going overboard here. That's how that looks so far after building it up. I'm going to go ahead and do the other side of my face and then I'll be right back to do some blusher. So here are the highlights and blushers. So I have Adults Only, Lola, Lucent Jungle, and Truth. For blusher, I'll go with Adults Only. And for highlight, I'm going to go with Lucent Jungle. Lots of color on this brush. Okay, so this is a highlight and blush uh, together. So <laughs> I'm not going to do a highlight because uh, this product is a multitasking product. I'm going to put a little bit of the Lucent Jungle down the center of my nose. Okay, and on my Cupid's bow. But I'm really loving this adults only. So let's check out this lip shaper. This is a nude six and this is the deepest lip liner for Nabla currently. Okay, so let's do a swatch here. And so that's how that looks on the back of my hand. I'm gonna go ahead and line my lips the way I normally do. And so that's how they look. For lipstick, I'm going in with this Bounce Lipstick, and this is in the shade Nolita. This is described as a rich terracotta. This is a super matte lipstick, so if you're not used to that kind of feel on your lip, this is not going to be a good match for you. Let's do a little inner corner highlight. I'm going to use a bit of this shade right here. It's called Aries to highlight my inner corner. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye, bring some of those shadows that I use on top of my lid to the lower lid to pull the whole look together. And then I'll be right back with my final thoughts and the final look. Here are my final thoughts. As far as the foundation, it's a pretty good match. I wouldn't have to do too much work with this, so this gets a thumbs up from me. They only have about 30 shades though, and I think most companies right now have anywhere from 50 to over 100 shades. So they do need to do a little bit better as far as the shade range for the foundation. The brow pencil is more of a warm brown. I'm used to a cool brown, but I have to say I like the way this looks. As far as the concealer, I like that it's full coverage. A lot of people like that. However, a full coverage concealer like this, it takes forever to blend, and I really don't have that amount of time in my day to switch between a Dampen Beauty blender and a brush to blend out my concealer. I like a concealer that you can just put a couple dabs here and there, use your finger to blend it out when you're on the go, and it just brightens up your face right away or covers any area of concerns that you may have. So for me, I would uh, probably pass on a concealer like this, although I own it and no, I'm not gonna return it. As far as this eyeshadow palette, 
I think the colors are pretty pigmented. This shade was a little bit surprising though. I was really trying to build it up to get it really deep and dark and smoky. It didn't really do that. I think it really just depends on your complexion. For someone with a lighter complexion, this might be perfectly uh, fine for them. But for my complexion, I really had to build it up a lot to get the color payoff that I was going for. As far as the bronzer, I would say that it appears a lot more pigmented in real life than it does on camera, so be aware of that. The highlights and blushers are really pretty. I love the adults only blusher. This would be my favorite item from this makeup brand. As far as the lip liner, it was just okay for me. It just didn't give my lips the maximum definition that I like, okay? To give your lips maximum definition, you need a lip liner that's a couple shades deeper than your natural lip line, okay? And if you guys have been following me, you know that my natural lip line is pretty dark. To put it in context, I'm gonna swatch my lip liner that I use most often um, next to this lip liner so you guys can see, okay? So that is my Sephora lip liner. And so that one is like 12 bucks. I believe this lip liner is $16. Okay, so you can see the difference uh, between these two. And again, if you have a lighter lip line, it might be okay, but I need something more like this, okay? Love the lipstick. It really doesn't feel like a matte lipstick to me. It's, it's really soft on my lips, which I love. This is it, guys. This is my review of some of Nabla's Cosmetics makeup products. I would love to know your thoughts on this review, so go ahead and leave me some comments in the comments section down below. Let me know what your favorite product is. Let me know what you'd like to see from me next. If there are other makeup or beauty brands that you would like me to review, go ahead and leave me a comment in the comments section down below. As always, Always don't forget to like and share of course go follow me on all of my different social media platforms and I will see you guys on my next one